Hi everyone, this is Pam from Bug Bites with another Gypsy episode, a basic episode. This screen, which is the main screen from which you design. So let's open a new file and I'll choose 12 by 12. Once again, anytime in the middle of the design, you can always switch the mat. And once you save that, that mat will be saved on your file. So we have opened a new file and we get into this virtual mat. The first thing I'll point out is look at where the arrow is. Keep that in your mind because that's the exact direction which needs to go inside your cricket. Just take a note of where this arrow is and lay in your paper. This blue thing here is your cursor and we have some stuff going on here in the right frame and we are on basic. The basic is highlighted so we are on the basic menu and we have a plus here which adds the pages and here I want to point out that if you have CDS that is Cricut Design Studio you'd already be familiar but if not you have to cut each one. This is the cutting knife each mat individually. You have to cut the first mat go to the second page and then choose cut again to cut the second mat. The reason they have put it in a file is for us. Suppose you want to do a word book or something. You want to keep all your files together, all your mats together. That's why the additional page is there for. So you have to press cut each page individually. Now you have a width and your height right over there. So these are the numbers you're going to be playing. If you are in America, you'll be familiar with the inches. If not, you can choose millimeter and you'll find all this change. The mat box won't change, but numbers here will change. It's two for me now. If I place millimeter, you can see it shoot up to 50.8. And X and Y, this are the coordinates. You can see there's an X and Y marked here. And by the way, this is a little bit different from your design studio because for the design studio, this is the Y. Y is zero here, but here in the gypsy, X is this line, but Y is down and not up. So keep that in mind. If you want to change the cursor at the beginning, just press the height and you can increase it. This is the number pad. I've already made a video about number pad. That has not changed. So you can go and check that out for the detailed increase. You can increase by the arrows. You can increase exactly which I want to do. I'll set the cursor at height 3. Can you see the link button here? The chain button here? It's golden yellow. That means whichever image I choose is going to be in proportion. So the aspect ratio, that is the width to the height of the image is linked. If you change the width, the height will automatically change. This is the keypad layout and this is where we choose our image. Right now I'm in gypsy font. So this is the image queue. This line is where I can choose and it'll add to the image queue. And this might be a little bit different from your exact overlay, but it does the same thing. So even if the button looks a little bit different, it's the same thing from your book or your keypad. And this is the cartridge window. This is the that's the keyword search where I can change. This is the cartridge. If I know immediately what my cartridge is next, I can just go and click that. It'll bring me to the next window. Else, if I tap on that, it'll bring me to this screen where I have all cartridges. And if I just go down, so I can just drag the slider. That's one way to do it. And another way to do it is by pressing the zoom or the pan button and just dragging and what I wanted to show was this forever young which I'm going to get in a few days because I'm a cartridge holder 
is red in color because I've not linked it. Just press this down arrow and it brings me to the linked cartridges and this is a pretty useful thing because if you download any other file from somebody you can immediately see what cartridge has been used in that program. So I find that very useful and get to cartridge and use. I got the gypsy font. That was what I was using. Now I've selected these two to get together in the image. Now I want to go to the mat. I press that. It brings me back to the mat. This key, you can see that it looks like a keypad. It takes you there and that looks like a mat and brings you here. And now if I zoom in, you can see those two letters are selected for us in blue. So this is a cool feature in Gypsy. When it's blue like that, it is grouped together. I already talked about grouping. You can go and watch those because those still hold. In a nutshell, what grouping does is it groups everything together and in one shot I can do something. So for example, if I just want to increase the size of both, there you have it. I can increase. Now if I don't want that grouped, I just press on this button which is the ungroup button. This is your delete button. So I don't want that W. I just press on the delete. Now it's gone from my screen. This A is the actual size button and that's the button which is very important for you while layering. So for sizing, if you want the exact size, you have to use that actual size button and also sometimes you need to unlink this and get that. Let me show you with an image. I've chosen Gypsy for Wanderings. I press that button, it turns red. That means that function is selected and let me choose the square over there and if you look closely you can find that there's this line but there's a small gray line going around that image earlier it was so far off but now we have it pretty close on the image so that's the selection box that shows that that image has been selected now one advantage cool thing with this update I wanted to show you earlier when we do that when the image hangs off you won't get anything it will disappear but now you have the image not only that but when you press cut it will cut part of that image isn't that cool I love that feature I'm gonna do something with that so look closely it shows 3.1 and 3 that's the selection box but what happens when I click on that A it turns yellow but look at the figures closely it's three and three we thought it was not but it's three and three and what if I just want to change the height press that unlink select the height it'll turn red then just increase and you can see what's happening so I need to, I don't want that I just click undo and it comes back but just one step it goes back just one step so the just the previous step was 3.5 let me press undo again see it just goes back one step 